guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video now when you're getting older your skin tend to lose the elasticity and the collagen production now there are many things that you can do to help to boost back the collagen help to boost the skin to have it looking younger and basically fresher daily now this is a process that you have to go through to keep rolling back the years or to prevent things from happening to your skin such as wrinkles and sagging skin today I have a wonderful old a treatment for you and here it is this is gonna help to lift the skin it's gonna tighten the skin really and truly tighten the skin and not only that while tightening the skin is gonna help to get rid of those wrinkles fine lines and it's gonna moisturize and nourish the skin leaving your skin just young glowing just radiant and supple so if you're looking to prevent wrinkles and fine lines you're looking to give your face that instant lift if you already have wrinkles and fine lines and sagging skin and you're looking to get rid of them then this wonderful treatment is for you now guys the video is a little long but please watch to the end to see the live demonstration you are going to be blown away of how effective and how really and truly great this product is. So keep watching the video. Our first ingredient is flax seeds. And take a look at flax seeds up close. This is what it looks like. Now flaxseed is known to help to lock the moisture in your skin. It helps to hydrate the skin. It helps to tighten the skin. And flaxseed will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. Flaxseed is also great for shrinking large pores. It has omega-3 fatty acid. It helps to boost the collagen production. Therefore, using flax seeds on your skin is a wonderful choice for healthy tight looking skin our next ingredient is a spice and this is star anise star anise is mostly used for cooking however star anise is great for the skin star anise is a wonderful skin tightener it will help to tighten your skin getting rid of all the wrinkles and fine lines how does this happen it helps to boost the circulation and with circulation pump plumper tighter and a more youthful looking skin now i have two other ingredients here and this is aloe vera gel and this is rose water i'm gonna use both of these in the recipe however these are optional if you do not have rose water or aloe vera gel not to worry the flaxseed and the star anise is gonna do wonders now the halo is gonna help to clear the skin of any form of blemishes it's also gonna work on the wrinkles and fine lines while the rose water is gonna help to smooth the skin it's gonna help to hydrate the skin and it's also gonna add a wonderful fragrance to our facial spray for this recipe you're gonna need a pot since we're gonna be boiling the star anise and a strainer or better yet some cheesecloth okay now the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna prepare the star anise and I'm using about four large cloves or heads of star anise. I'm adding this to my pot and, and I'm gonna use a cup and a half of water. Now you're gonna boil this on your stove top for about five minutes. You're gonna place it on the stove and as soon as the water comes to a boil, you're gonna turn the stove off, you're gonna set it aside and let it cool. So I'm gonna boil this for about five minutes and I will be back. Now while our star anise is boiling, we're gonna prepare our flax seeds. So I'm using about two tablespoons of flax seeds. And I'm gonna pour about a cup of hot water on the flax seeds. After pouring my hot water, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this aside for a couple of hours as well. Now the best thing to do with this, and this is what I normally do, I normally make this a day ahead. So I prepare the flax seeds and I also prepare the star anise 
overnight. That way, the flaxseed will be ready and the star anise will be totally cool. However, let me reach for the star anise and show you what it looks like after boiling. So here is our star anise after boiling and you should smell this. This is smelling really, really wonderful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour my star anise out in a container like this. So here we have our star anise and our flaxseed. And now at this stage, I'm gonna cover these two. I'm gonna leave them on the countertop overnight. And I will be back tomorrow to show you how to make this wonderful skin tightening remedy. Okay guys, now so it has been 24 hours and take a look at our star anise totally cool and this is our flaxseed now if you look at the flaxseed you will notice or maybe it's not coming across on camera this is very very thick really really thick and heavy it is no longer as liquefied as it might look on camera very thick and more of a slimy ceramic feel okay now that is exactly how you want this to be and now we're going to strain both of these now the star anise is pretty easy i could just take the star anise out like this toss it nothing to strain and the star anise is ready now as for the flax seeds, I'm going to strain. So you're just going to place your cheesecloth or any form of a cotton cloth you have over the bowl and you're going to pour your flax seeds in. Just pour it in and strain. And here we have our flaxseed very very ceramy very very ceramy which is wonderful now for the star anise i'm using a quarter cup of star anise and for our flax seeds i'm also using a quarter cup and i basically have the same amount of leftover as the flax seeds so i'm throwing that in as the star anise However, the ratio is a quarter cup of star anise to a quarter cup of flax seeds. Next, I'm gonna add my aloe vera gel. And this is the store bought, which is best for this remedy. So I'm using two tablespoons of our aloe vera gel. I'm putting a little extra because I put a little extra of the star anise and flax seeds. And next, our rose water. I'm going to use two tablespoons of rose water. Now, if you have vegetable glycerine, you can also choose to put some vegetable glycerin in this. And that's going to help to keep it a little longer. However, it is optional. As a matter of fact, let me reach for my vegetable glycerin. Now this is one ingredient I didn't mention is the vegetable glycerine. It's optional. However, if you have it, use it in this so that you could preserve this longer. And this is also moisturizing to the skin. So for the vegetable glycerine, I'm just using one tablespoon in this remedy. And now I'm going to mix this together. And this is not light guys. This is heavy. This is more like a serum form. Okay. Just a little tip lighter than a serum. And the smell of this is wonderful. Now, once you finish mixing, what you're going to do with this, you're going to cover this and you're going to set this aside another couple of hours, probably overnight again. Sometimes I'm anxious. I just start using it right away, but it's get better with age. Now where storage is concerned, once you have the vegetable glycerine, you could keep this in your refrigerator for at least 14 days. If no vegetable glycerine, then just keep it for about 10 days or so. Okay. Now for me, once I make this, what I like to do, I like to store mine in a spray bottle. So I normally just 
So now that my spray bottle is full, what I'm going to do, I'm going to store this in the refrigerator and whenever my spray bottle get empty, I just refill it. So now I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful skin tightener on your skin. Now to apply this to your skin, you want to start with clean skin. So you're going to wash your face like you normally do, whether you're going to exfoliate the skin, whether you're going to use your facial mask, do all of that before. Once the skin is clean, you're going to pat dry the skin and then you're going to reach for your facial tightener. So today to demonstrate my wonderful facial tightener, I want you to take a look at my skin. Now I'm going to apply this to one side of my face and I'm gonna leave the other side, okay? So I'm just gonna spray lightly one side of the face. Now remember, I apply my facial lifting toner to this side of my face and I didn't put it on this side. So let it dry. And right now, what is happening? I could feel the tightening sensation on my skin on this side. I'm just gonna pot it in for it to dry a little faster. Now this is not a rinse off. You're gonna leave this on your skin. Now you can use this whether AM or PM, all right? Now, a wonderful thing about this is that it is great to use on your skin just like that, or you can use it under your makeup. Now this facial toner, is gonna go directly on your skin. So you're gonna apply this to your skin and then you're gonna follow with your regular facial serum or your facial moisturizer. So you're using this as a tightening facial toner. Now I've been wearing this on my face for about five to 10 minutes and I'm gonna come closer for you to take a look. This is the side that I use it on and I didn't use it on this side. Now, obviously, if you're paying attention, you can see the difference. This cheek is lifted. The laugh line is not as deep as this one. And you clearly can see a younger look right there compared to this side. So just take a look. This is my treated side and this is the untreated side. And you could see the difference. Now, I'm going to spray on the untreated side. Just look, no joke, just look. Check out my laugh lines. Whoa. I honestly need to bottle this. Guys, right in front of your face. It's no camera trick. I did not move. I did not move. Ha! Huh. There's nothing in my mouth. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm emotional. Unbelievable. You really and truly need to give this a try. And I hope you guys could find all the ingredients for this. This is awesome. Now what can I say? You see it for yourself. So go ahead and try this wonderful facial toner. Also, I have a couple of other videos using the star anise. You could give them a try also. Now, after you use it for a while, come back and leave your comment. Now, if this was the first time watching, guess what? You want to see more of these videos? Look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. At the side, there's a little bell. If you click on that, you will get a notification right away. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.